Chloramphenicol Rapid Test Kit for tissue. First, let's talk what we have in this box. A part of uh, the manual we have here, we also have one tube with 10 microwells and 10 test strips. We have two bottles of reagent A, two bottles of reagent B, 10 capsules of reagent C, one bottle of reagent D, and also 10 solid phase extractions. It is important to note that our reagent B is normal hexane. Our first step is sample preparation. We have already prepared 6 grams of homogeneous tissue sample. In this case, we have duck meat. Now, after preparing the samples, we take 8 milliliters of reagent A and put it in the sample. This is uh, twice uh, 4 milliliters. Vortex for 20 to 30 seconds. Centrifuge for 2 minutes at 4000 RPM. Alright, so here we will take the supernatant. We will take uh, 6 milliliters of the supernatant and uh, transfer it to uh, the other tube means uh, 3 milliliters twice. We will pour the reagent B to the mark point of 30 to 32.5 milliliters. Then we put the powder, the reagent C. Mix well uh, around five times. Keep it standing for 30 to 60 seconds and make sure it will look like this way. Connect the extraction column. <clears throat> Tied it up, everything, and make sure there is pressure. Now, pour the supernatant, be careful not to put the sediment. Turn on the vacuum pump, wait until the, all the fluid goes down. Take it out, release the pressure and turn off the vacuum pump. Now we place two milliliter centrifuge tubes in this cover and cover everything. We add 600 microliters of reagent D. Make some pressure and turn on the vacuum pump. Once again, wait for the liquids to flow. Now we release the pressure and turn on the vacuum pump. This is what we have and this is for the next step of testing. We will take uh, microwells, the number of microwells we need. In this case, we need two microwells. 
and from a detection liquid we will uh, take 200 microliters and transfer it to the red micro well. Mix it well, of course. Incubate for three minutes. While having the incubation, the first incubation, we prepare test strips for the next step. All right, so the first incubation is about to finish, and now we place the test strips. And and incubate for a number of three minutes. Now second incubation is about to finish. We take the sample pads and first we compare with uh, the manual we have. Then we would like to use our SAF reader. So we go to the test item mode. Press the green button. Then <clears throat> we choose our item, our tested item. We place the test strip. and press test. Then the result we have here, result number 46, it is negative. Negative in terms of our limits of detection. Place the test strip and test. Samples 46 and 47 are negative in terms of, of our limits of detection, in terms of our chloramphenicol limits of detection.